Question 8.1. When the plunger was pushed solely into the syringe, the pressure in the syringe increased. The temperature of the air remained constant. Explain why the pressure increased. Three marks. Well, the air particles are closer together. The frequency of collusion between the air particles and syringes wall will increase and larger total force on a smaller surface area. Question 8.2. A fire piston is a special type of syringe that can be used to start fires. Figure 13 shows a fire piston. So you got the plunger, you got the piston here, you got the air cotton wool there. The plunger is pushed quickly downwards and compress the air. When the air is compressed quickly, the temperature of the air increases. Question 8.2. How does an increase in temperature affect the air particles in the piston. One mark. The mean kinetic energy of the particle will increase. The mean potential energy of the particle increases. I don't think so. I think that will decrease. The mean separation of the particle increases. That should also decrease. So the answer will be A. The mean kinetic energy of the particles will increase. Because if you push them together, potential energy, that means position between two particles. If they're further from each other, potential energy will increase. If the two particles are closer, potential energy will decrease. So if you push them in, the particles will be closer. Therefore, potential energy will decrease, not increase. And the mean separation of the particle, which is basically the potential energy as well because separation will decrease so it's going to be a question 8.3 when the air is hot enough a small piece of cotton wool in the piston catches fire the energy transferred to the air in the piston is 0 0.0130 joules the mass of air in the piston is 2.6 times 10 to the power minus 8 kilogram specific heat capacity of air is 1.01 kilojoules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Calculate the temperature change of the air. Use the physics equation sheet for marks. So first of all, we need to recognize the change in energy. We need to recognize the energy transfer. We represent that with delta E because there's a change in energy. The mass, this one is a specific capacity, C for that. And that value is 1.01 kilojoules per kilogram per degree Celsius. We want to convert the kilo into kilojoules into joules. So and K stands for 1000 or 10 to power 3. So that will be 1.01 times 10 to power 3. And then, which means your multiplying by a thousand and that'll be one zero one zero joules per kilogram per degree celsius the change in temperature can be represented as delta theta or delta t capital t either is used so now we can write the re equation that relates all three together delta e equals m c delta theta or you might see it as m c delta capital t either is acceptable delta theta is temperature and delta t is also temperature we want the change in temperature so we write the reason why we put delta is if you have a change here you must have a change here somewhere and what's changing is the temperature so we put delta here sometimes you might see it as written as e equals m c theta so either way it's fine we're making delta theta the subject as a temperature here therefore delta e over mc now we can populate it with the value e is 0 0.013 and mass is 2.6 times 10 to the power mass 8 and specific capacity is 1010 joules per kilogram per degree celsius and then when we work it out in your calculator you get 495 degrees celsius check your units here they're looking for degrees celsius so we can write 495 